Here we go. Hi, I'm Nicole Crane, and I am going to get this live stream pulled up on my phone so that I can be sure to see all the comments. Um, but today from Mindset Monday, this Demon is the, ooh, in, uh, the inaugural, <laughs> the initial maiden voyage. Um, okay, here we go. Perfect. And, yep, I can see. Sweet. Okay. So I'm going to try to make this brief. Um, so today we're mainly going to be focusing on identifying the core resistance that you're experiencing that's preventing you from achieving in an area of your life that's important to you. Um, but first, really quickly, I am going to talk about the Libratory, which um, Mindset Mondays are in promotion of. Um, so what is the Libratory? It's a six-week one-on-one transformational mindset training, um, time-blocking and integrated living program. Um, so each week we meet for 90 minutes one-on-one -on, -one on Zoom and we map out your priorities. I help you create a schedule that allows you to get all the important things in your life done and um, I also help you let go of the things that no longer serve you. That could mean old ideas, um, commitments that keep you from having time and energy to focus on your dreams, or um, attachments to doing things in an in efficient way, or a way that um, is no longer in alignment with who you are and who you want to become. So, um, I there's a link in my bio to the sales page for that if you're interested in just jumping right in. But um, I will talk about another way to get signed up at the end of the call. Um, so in the meantime, coming back to identifying your core resistance. Um, so this is kind of a slippery idea because once you resolve and integrate your major core resistance or core conflict, um, something else tends to emerge as the new focus of your frustration or your anger, your disappointment or your sadness. And it's kind of like the Terminator where you think you've defeated it, but then it resurrects itself in another form somewhere else. And it seems like there's another one. And once you work that one out, there's another one and another one. Um, so as, instead of getting frustrated, um, I would like to have you reframe this in your mind. Um, like in most spiritual and self-improvement circles, we tend to focus on the journey and not the destination because in this human form, the work, um, like in this case, uh, the mindset work, is never really complete. Um, it's just a gradual evolution that we get to choose the direction of. So for this session specifically, we're going to laser, laser focus in on time. So the reason is that so many people, myself included, feel like there's never enough time. I'm sure that most of you can relate to that. And at the root of it all, many of us use this as a justification for why the things that we want in life aren't happening because we don't have uh, the time to pursue them. And honestly, it really does seem that way um, from a traditional perspective, but throughout my study of business, psychology, um, and productivity, I've discovered that it's not really actually about how much time you have, but how you choose to use that time and how sensibly you do so. So I'm not judging here because most of us are never taught how to see things from this perspective. Um, so it really is a mind training and um, throughout this uh, Mindset Monday series, you'll he hear me repeat things over and over again and that's on purpose because in order to retrain your mind and to set new ideas in motion and train yourself to um, react in new ways and um, to set new habits, um, repetition is key, right? So um, not only does it seem like there's never enough time, but there are also so many things competing for both our time and our attention. So we really do have to reprogram our minds to shift to a new way of seeing the world and behaving according to this new system. That's why I'm here to help. 
Um, I want to open your eyes to the fact that a different possibility even exists. So I'm going to be totally, like, straightforward by letting you know that by nature, I am not a very organized person. So it's only because of access to these ideas and mindset training and um, having a best friend who is like one of the most badass corporate coaches on the planet and um, having access to her one-on-one -on -one coaching around time blocking and scheduling that I can really get my shit together. So um, the reason I'm so passionate about sharing this information is because it significantly changes things and I want more people to have access to this kind of information. Um, and that's why I'm offering this free mini lecture series because I want to at least get your gears going and kind of like lubricate the process of planting seeds of these new ideas and um, starting to open your eyes to the possibilities. So the real issue is that we're constantly burning up a huge amount of energy on things that are not important that we don't have enough um, energy left to use for things that actually are important to us. So one similarity amongst highly successful people is that they consistently focus and use their energy towards the things that they want, that are important to them, and that propel them towards their goals. So the issue that the rest of us struggle with is with our inner resistance, um, and that drains our time. So I'd like to uh, I'd like to invite you to consider how much time you spend on things that are unhelpful or outright damaging. So for many of this, this could be physical insecurities, like am I pretty enough or handsome enough? Um, am I fit enough? Do I need to lose a few pounds? Maybe um, you get stuck in comparison. Um, like why isn't building a business um, as easy for me as it is for my friends? Uh, why are they seeing success and I'm not? This can look like questioning past decisions, having anxiety about the future, or questioning whether or not you're doing things the right way. So how much time do you spend in overwhelm, fear, anxiousness, self-interrogation, or doubt? And get really honest with yourself about this. So for me, this usually looks like me yelling at other people in my head. Like it's not helpful. I'm not actually communicating with anybody. I'm not moving any um, relationships forward. I'm not making genuine connections. Um, and this happens especially when I'm trying to sleep at night or take a nap. I just lay there with my eyes closed and I can spend like even several hours a day just going over and over and over a scenario of someone who disrespected me or disappointed my expectations of them, um, whether it's customers from my day job or little girls who were mean to me in the first grade, I get really stuck in that loop. So that's like my biggest weakness, I would say. So this could also be identified as an inner critic whether it's our own voice that we hear criticizing us or that of our parents or some other critical figure, it judges you, but it also judges other people to the point where we're like wondering and like spending time and energy worrying what other people um, think about us or worrying about something dumb that we said or the way that it might have been perceived by someone else or something embarrassing that we did and we just like obsess about it right so if you add up all that time how many minutes or hours in a week does that end up being for you like personally on a bad week it's probably close to at least two hours a day um, which equals 14 hours a week right so that's basically an entire waking day that I'm wasting every single week. Um, but let's just go to the low end to play devil's advocate, right? So let's say that you have um, good mental training, you've um, gone through like landmark form or some kind of process, um, and you have really strong mind control and you only worry for about 20 minutes a day, like let's say during your commute, you like space out and stress, right? So that ends up being two hours every week 
which equals eight hours every month. And um, that turns out to be about 416 hours a year. So that's 17 days every year, which is over two weeks, that you're wasting on unfocused, low energy states. So imagine what you could accomplish if you had two weeks every year, maybe two or three times that for some of us, like for me, it's like six times that. So that would be like 12 weeks, right? <laughs> um, that you could invest that time into starting a new business or going on vacation or spending more high quality time with your loved ones or your family, it would open up some new possibilities in your life, wouldn't it? So considering all that, um, the real issue here isn't actually that we don't have enough time, it's that we aren't using the time that we do have wisely. So this process um, that we just went through um, that's eating away at our time is the inner resistance. And the inner resistance doesn't just eat away at our time, it also burns up our energy. So if you consider when you're in this negative mindset, this um, negative mentality, it doesn't feel good in your body. It feels draining and honestly it's the reason why so many of us are over caffeinated which makes us even more anxious. Um, we don't sleep enough and we find ourselves living lives that we feel like we need to be distracted from. It's not our most um, happy, beautiful, vibrant life. Um, so this is why we don't have enough energy to even get to the grocery store or the gym or other things that are supportive factors in taking care of our mental and physical health. So it steals our time, it steals our energy, it steals our healthy lifestyle, and it steals our presence. So if you don't have the energy to be present, um, you're missing quality time with your family, your friends, your kids, your partner or spouse, and you're missing out on these fleeting magical moments that really make life worth living. So honestly, it, it steals the quality of your life as well. So you want to create something consciously in your life. You want to write a book or learn how to play guitar or make six figures or meet your soulmate. And it's something that you want consciously. But simultaneously, at an unconscious level, your beliefs in that area of your life are not in alignment with what you're consciously working towards creating. So you could have a belief that you have to work 80 hours a week to be able to make more money. Or you could have a belief that you can't trust people with your heart or that to become a successful musician, you have to sacrifice your personal relationships. And you might not have been aware of this before, but identifying these um, unaligned parts of your mind is one of the major keys in shifting those beliefs. So this misalignment is what creates inner conflict and it drains your time, it saps your energy, and it stops you from being able to be fully present in your life and when you're in that low energy state, you lack the resources to go out and achieve the things that you want to in life. So it's kind of like those bad dreams where you're trying to run, but it feels like you're running in water and you can't go any faster. So when you know that you're only performing at a fraction of your capabilities, it's because these subconscious beliefs are weighing you down and effectively slowing you down. And most of us are not even aware of that. So um, if you're interested in hearing more about um, limiting beliefs and um, the, um, the core conflict um, and the um, inner, um, your inner resistance, um, this is only about like a third to half of this lecture. Um, but I just want to give you little nibbles of different pieces of the laboratory so that you can get a better sense of um, what kind of things we're going to be working on together in this one-on-one -on -one container. So um, in our work together in the laboratory, we identify, break down, and integrate your inner resistance and get to the core resistance or the thing that's blocking you from getting what you want and achieving your current goals in the important areas of your life. So before we wrap up, I'd like to offer you a free 
um, values evaluation. So this is a 45 minute process where I take you through a system that narrows down your current values to the top five. Um, the top five, which um, allows you to map out your priorities and shift your focus so that you have more time and more resources um, in that area of your life. So this helps you to see exactly where you're most hungry for change and it helps you identify the things that are holding you back from already having it. So by the end of this, um, the uh, values evaluation, um, you are going to feel clear, motivated, and excited to shift your perspective in order to have what you want. So um, if you'd like to schedule that, I am going to pop the link in the comments. Okay, and um, spaces are limited, so be sure to schedule one as soon as possible. And I look forward to guiding you through this process. So I'll see you next week for Mindset Monday. Next week we'll be focusing on identifying values and priorities. And um, super quick, if you are interested in hearing more about um, the inner conflict specifically, um, just put something in the comments like, yes, please. If you're watching the replay, that's totally valid. I'm gonna be leaving this recording up until next Monday, so um, you can rewatch it if you want, you can take notes, you can ask questions, and I'll get back to you um, before then. Otherwise, um, I will see you next Monday um, for values and priorities. All right, we'll talk soon, bye.